Ivan seems troubled. Where is he going now? Ivan, you have come back. I don't dare hope you have faced my enemy. I met Koshe, and I fought him. Is that so? Did you find my father's crown? I did, and I bring it back to its rightful owner. And what of Koshe? Did he manage to escape? He is now paying for his actions. He is locked in this chest. He is immortal, so no weapon can kill him. But he will not bother you anymore. Oh, Ivan, I will be forever grateful to you. Thank you for bringing back my father's crown. And here is your reward. What about my Tsar's request? Yes. It is a good time to discuss the wedding now. I have thought more about your request. I have talked with my people and my advisors. You settled conflicts in your lands. You brought hope to my people. And you gave me my father's crown. You have done all that I asked, easy or hard. It seems I should accept. Go to your Tsar and let him know. However, I have some demands. The wedding will be held in a place of my choosing, and the suitor will have to pass a trial. What will the trial be? You will know all before we start. It is something that the Tsar will have to do himself, and no one else. Where will we go? The wedding will be held under the gaze of the Greybeard Stone. Take this message to the Tsar, and we will await you near the stone. I hope to see you there, Ivan. Tell me, dear blacksmith. What news do you bring? Did you find a gorgeous wife? Is she worthy of me, my strength, and my youth? Yes, she is, and your power will help her people. She is Maria Morevna, a warrior queen from afar. Much, much more beautiful than the sun. Maria Morevna. I heard of her, indeed. She is good enough for me. She wants the wedding held beneath the Greybeard's gaze. Some people say there's magic there, but it's all old wives' tales. But if that's the place she wants, then there we will go. I'll see you at the wedding. Very well, Ivan. Looks like the old hag was wrong about you after all. Servants, prepare a great feast with more than seven courses. Prepare the better drinks. Prepare our greatest horses. Now go and gather all and let the word be spread that your Tsar and his Maria in three days will wed. As Ivan travels on his way. Someone is waiting for her prey. The one I Licko tries again. To kill Ivan, she'll ruin your plan. I need to help the blacksmith now, before he's slaughtered like a cow. 
Come back to us when all is through. Go now. Ivan depends on you. The Gaze of no one. That evil eye of yours that is always unkind. I'll take it for myself, and you will be left blind. The time has come, Ivan. <laughs> What will it run?
don't kill me, blacksmith. I'm needed on this earth. The way that people fight me is what defines their worth. I only ever did what I was born to do. I will give you strong magic. Spare me. I beg of you. I'll kill you now as promised. I've had enough of this. Prepare to taste my hammer. I swear I will not miss. fight me is what defines their worth. I only ever did what I was born to do. Each of us has a role, so I will set you free. But I don't want your magic. Just stay away from me. Thank you, my dear blacksmith. I promise on my knee from now until forever. From bad luck, you'll be free. Tell me, Yaga, what should I now do? Tell me of my fate. I'll listen to you. With the Licko gone, will I now be free? Or will some bad luck keep following me? Oh, dear Ivan, hear this from me. How you treat others, treated you'll be. How you see yourself, how you act each day, these are things that will pave your way. When you know you're right without any doubt, Never must you take the easy way out. But you must be careful. When in pain and grief, never to be blinded by some old belief. When things get so bad, you think you are stuck. Don't bow to despair or blame your bad luck. It is not bad luck, nor is it no charm that will keep you safe or lead you to harm. I will tell you now. When the hour is late, the one thing that matters, that decides your fate, the choices you take, the actions you do, in the face of hardships set in front of you. I'm back, my dears. You're back indeed. The wedding's done. Some rest I need. Oh, you will rest when you are dead. Tell us what happened. Go ahead. You saw what happened in your pool? Please, Baba Yaga, keep your cool. We want to hear the tale in whole. And see if you have met your goal. Fine, even though I'm tired and spent. Let's watch together how it went. And I will tell along the way all that I saw that fateful day. Under the eyes of old grey stone, above a fire made of bone, I placed the cauldrons Ivan made and thought about the plans I laid. Maria and her host were there with hope and worry in the air. Their queen was fairer than the sun. Her beauty was a match for none. The Tsar and his people appeared with his hunchback and knotty beard. And filled with arrogance and pride, he looked upon his would-be bride. The board was laid. My pawns were set. Above my brow, I had no sweat. As we sat there, ready to start, Ivan arrived to do his part. You are here, blacksmith. Late as always. I care not. I have more important things to do now. I am here, Maria Morevna. I have done as you wished. Now it is time for you to be my bride. 
It is said you are a great Tsar, and I know your blacksmith is a great man. But before we start, under the watchful eyes of the Greybeard Stone, you must pass the trial of fate. No trial can stand in my way. I am strong. I am young. I am the Tsar. I see all that, and I'm impressed. Now it's time to pass the test. The trial of fate before you stands. The Greybeard Stone has three demands. The strength of body of a bear. The youth of mind beyond compare. And just some luck, a little dash. It'll go quickly with a splash. To prove your worth, you'll need to dive in these three cauldrons and survive. The first is filled with boiling tears. If you're strong, you'll show no fears. The second boils with mother's milk, but for young minds, it feels like silk. The last is wine, as cold as ice, and with good luck, may feel quite nice. And when you're on the other side, you will take home this lovely bride. This trial of yours I will now take. I am the Tsar, and I am mighty. And when I'm on the other side, I will take home this lovely maiden. With his bad rhymes and giant pride, he tossed his shoes and staff aside. The Tsar was ready for the test. He raised the apple from his chest. Into the boiling tears he jumped, and we all waited with hearts clumped. And then his arms sprung out in pain, shriveled and died, just like his reign. Now that the Tsar has met his end, the time has come to play my hand. Towards the people in the crowd, I raised my voice and spoke out loud. He was unworthy, said the stone. Now he is turned to dust and bone. Let us speak no more of the dead. A new fate let us try to thread. We can now choose, all gathered here, someone to rule with love, not fear. My kingdom has been crushed by fear. Undead lords killed all that was dear. Thoughts of revenge have kept me blind. Until this blacksmith changed my mind. So here I came with all my men to settle down and grow again. My heart with want and hope is filled to join your people and rebuild. This is Maria from afar. Do you want her as your new Tsar? Ivan the blacksmith with one hand who came to find me in my land. Your journey has come to an end and now in front of you I stand. You have achieved all my demands and have brought peace to both our lands. You give me so much joy and pride to have your counsel by my side. The rules of Tsardom don't agree to have the throne taken by me. I am a maiden not born here, and that's a change people will fear. Will you help me tear down the laws and work towards a bright new cause? I will advise you. Let's change the tradition and make a better Tsardom. The blacksmith took a step aside and looked upon the queen with pride. Her head held high, tall and unbowed, Maria stood before the crowd. The village priest approached her slow, his forehead furrowed, bowed down low. The old Tsar's staff between his hands the sign of rulers of these lands. Upon her head, her father's crown, with sunlight gleaming from her gown, she took the star and raised it high, and the clouds cleared across the sky. The old Tsar's people and her own welcomed the queen upon the throne. And with the plan now all complete, my victory tastes really sweet. Now with Maria's calm and will, 
and the blacksmith's great strength and skill. Her reign will overflow with charm, and her people will see no harm. Ivan is happy with his life, and is now searching for a wife. But he is sure, without debate, his choices will decide his fate. And so the story is complete. Let's go, my dears. It's time to eat.